iPad tutorial using accessibility. This is a brief overview of how accessibility works on the iPads. There may be some separate videos available. To get started, you need to go into your settings and you'll find accessibility on the left. Within this, there are a number of different options. To start with, we're going to look at voiceover. By turning this on, it allows whatever is on the screen to be spoken. Turn it on and have a listen. Voiceover on. Landscape. Alert. Important. Night sky. OK. Button. Voiceover. You can change the speed from fast to slow using the slider. In speech, you can choose the voice that you want to listen to. There are different accents and languages, so you can scroll through and decide which one suits you best. There are other options within VoiceOver, such as Braille. Find what works best for you. Next, let's take a look at Zoom. Zoom simply magnifies anything that's on your screen. As well as Zoom, we have something called Magnifier. This is really useful if you're using a worksheet or you're reading from a book. It uses the iPad's camera and allows you to zoom in and out. It also allows you to play with the brightness, so you can make whatever it is you're reading darker or lighter. You can also change the contrast to make it paler or to make it more vibrant. And you can change the colour. Magnifier also allows you to take a photograph of what it is you're working on. This is useful as you can then send it to your teacher or to one of your classmates. The next thing we're going to look at is display and text. Within this, you can change things such as make your text bold. You can change the size. There are a number of different options, so go through it and find what suits you best. What's really useful is you can change the colour of your screen. If you go in and turn your colour filters on, you can see that there are different options. Let's take a look at spoken content. If we turn on speak selection, this is going to help us because it will read whatever is on the page back to us. You can choose the language and the voice that you wish to hear. You can also change the speed of the voice to slower or faster. Here's an example using Word. This is a really helpful thing when writing. There is another really great feature. If you want to hear a word and you don't want to type it, hold your finger on that word for a couple of seconds. Here's an example. The, the, learning, learning, lesson, lesson, is, is. There are so many other options within accessibility, but there will be separate videos on some of the other functions. If ever you need help, Simply ask your teacher and we will be there to help you.